Yeah, so um, as I started to, to spend some time there and getting to know the locals and, and trying to learn the tongue and language, it's quite tricky, um, but, <laughs> but I quickly discovered that there wasn't actually a word for rubbish or for <laughs> bin and that that concept of throwing something away into a system didn't exist in the culture because, I mean, up until recently, it, it hadn't needed to. You've got banana peels and coconut husks you know that can just be thrown on the ground no problem but of course this new introduction of plastic and um, there was mm. nowhere for it to go and it was off the back of this blood test because when i then started finding out you know what impact do these 29 chemicals have on my body um, i learned more about endocrine disruptors and the fact they mimic hormones and mess with the chemical messages inside our bodies and that actually for us girls these chemicals during pregnancy um, are really bad news and that we can actually pass them on to our children mm. when we give birth and when we breastfeed you're also experiencing this amazing magic of our natural world and the thing that i fell in love with i think you know far before i realized um when i was a little girl you know the magic of the ocean and you know when mm. you're sailing into the sunset every night and you've got dolphins at the bow and you're in this tranquil incredible space where you're cut off from society you've got no facebook and no emails and you know it's Beautiful. just it's an amazing headspace out there cycling there's a little bit of a myth around recycling it's a, a thing that makes us all feel better because we sort of mm. well it's okay we're recycling it but um as we sort of talked about earlier, only 9% of the plastic that we're using at the moment is getting recycled. And that number's so low because all these different types of plastic, um, they all have different chemical structures to give them the different properties.